Today I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina trying Bossy Beulahs, a chicken shop that opened up a few years ago by local restaurateur Jim Noble. They do chicken sandwiches, chicken nuggets. It's named after his great aunt Beulah, who would always make the family fried chicken when they visited. Uh, it's supposed to be great. Let's try it out. So I went with their traditional sandwich, the Butte, which was another nickname for his uh, great aunt. And that comes with uh, just, I think, just mayo on it. Maybe not even a sauce. But I did get a side of their bossy sauce. The Chaka lady talked me into it. I couldn't resist. So we'll try that in a little bit. But the Butte is just supposed to be your no-nonsense chicken sandwich. Let's give it a shot here. Let's see how it is. Bossy Beulahs. I like that the foil wrappers got their logo all over it. Um, nice little touch. The bread it's baked on is owned by another one of Jim Noble's restaurants here. It's a French patisserie bakery. That's where the bread comes from. The chickens from Joyce Farms over in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Smells good, looks good. Let me show you here. This is a, it's a beaut, if you will. <laughs> Look at this super thick, crispy breaded sandwich. Those pickles that are there. This bun. It just looks fresh. Everything looks great. Um, yeah. And if we pop the top on this bad boy, you can see it's got Duke's mayonnaise on it. You know, got to have that southern mayo and tons of pickles. Holy cow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven. And a little guy. Eight pickles. Eight pickles. When's the last time you got a chicken sandwich with eight freaking pickles on it? I don't think I've ever had that. Let's dig in. Thoughts so far. The breading is perfectly crispy. Let's get a bite of just the chicken. Mmm. Well seasoned, pretty good so far. Let's get a little piece of just the bread. Hmm, I'm torn. I don't know if I love that. It is toasted. It's kind of late in the day. I don't know if maybe this is a little stale almost. Um, I don't know. It's not bad. Okay, problem number one. As I'm getting more into the sandwich here see that middle like dark part the breast is kind of kind of falling apart there there's no chicken there there's just breading that's why it's all dark that's always a turn off again the middle's just falling apart so we gotta try it with the butte sauce right they also do chicken nuggets and i assume tenders you can dip the you can dip it all in the flavor on the breading is great so if you're actually getting pieces of chicken, fantastic. All right, let's try it out with the bossy sauce. Did I call it butte sauce? I meant bossy sauce. Mmm. Tangy, flavorful. I would say the problem being it overshadows the chicken a bit. But the chicken's not blowing me away with flavor anyways, so that might be the way to do it with the bossy sauce. I find myself going back for more bossy sauce. It really elevates it. So this is tough, right? Scoring this, clearly a labor of love. A great quality chicken sandwich. That breading's outstanding. Crispiness, it's fried fresh in-house there. Um, using local ingredients but it left something to be desired. Again, the flavor is not bursting out at me, though it is there and I appreciate that. It's pretty good. That center of the sandwich that had like no chicken in it and just breading, that's kind of a turn off. I don't like to see that. And granted, because it's fresh, because it's handmade here, you know, you, you might not run into that. Or you might, who knows? Um, so where do I score it? Where do I score it? You know, this is the second video I've done yet for this. And the one before this, I was really impressed by. I gave it an 8.5. The flavor did blow this away. I truly believe that. 
the juiciness, everything was a little bit better. But this is good. This is good. I mean, this is a high quality chicken sandwich. I'm gonna give this, we should also mention this is a $9 sandwich, $9. I mean, that for just the sandwich, that's top tier pricing. That's, that's bougie stuff. And I don't think it's worth $9. I don't think it's worth that. I can get cheaper sandwiches. I can get better sandwiches for that price. $9, that's asking a lot. I'm gonna give this a seven six, right? It's it's up there. It's it's missing a few points. It's you would be thrilled to have this if you were out at like a food court somewhere and they had this. Like for example, the Optimist Hall that they have here. You want a chicken sandwich and this is an option. You're gonna love that. You're gonna love it. But I don't know that I'd really go out of my way for it. And if there's better options around, I'm going to go to those. Now, what might be better? Just doing the nuggets from here. Uh, the flavors in that breading. It's pretty good. When you get a good ratio of breading to chicken, that's a good flavor. But overall, the sandwich didn't really crazily impress me. But it was good. It was great. 7-6. Bossy Beulahs, Charlotte, North Carolina, and Winston-Salem. And I think they're opening up in Fort Mill. They're blowing up. They're doing a good job. Um, the people are loving their bossies. Give it a shot if you're in the area. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Mark. I'm a chicken sandwich guy. Thanks for tuning in. Y'all take care.